Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. The Ukraine Trump transcript is out. The transcript between the president of Ukraine and Donald J. Trump sitting in the Oval Office, the discussion that these two gentlemen had uh, that the Democrats are alleging was quid pro quo is out for all to see. has been declassified. I have that. I'll read it for you. But right now on television, we have... All the dirty Dems, oh, they're so happy. They got him. Oh, they got him, they say. Oh, look at Adam Schiff. Look how happy he is. He's got a, he's hard, he's got a hard dick right now. Right? So all the Democrats are racing around trying to frame Donald Trump as being involved in quid pro quo, meaning that it was a pay-for-play scam to a play-for-play a pay-for-play operation between the President of the United States and a foreign country, the Ukraine, to investigate Donald Trump's uh, running uh, mate, not running mate, but the guy he's running against, Joe Biden and his son. A quid pro quo, violations, crimes, accusing him of crimes, of violating election law. Uh, so let's take a look at all this. I ha- Again, I have the transcript and... Uh, We'll take a look at what it all means. It doesn't seem, right off the bat, it doesn't. It does not seem like quid pro quo whatsoever. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Now, to preface it, they're saying that initially there was four hundred million dollars on the table allocated to go to Ukraine, and Trump stopped it. Then had his conversation with the president of U- of Ukraine, and then released the money after his conversation. So the basis of the fact that $400 million that was allocated to help the Ukraine was withheld at Trump's order is, is what the Democrats are basing the quid pro quo on. You give me a favor and I'll give you the money. Right? That's the allegation. That's the conspiracy theory. Okay, That's what it is. So that's what the Democrats are doing right now. They're spinning this conspiracy theory based on on what I just told you. All right, so, all the main, mainstream media is spinning, spinning, spinning. Uh, read the transcript. Trump calls with Ukraine president about Biden. The Ukraine transcript is full of fresh ideas. Do us a favor. Let's see what it says. All right. So, here is the transcript unclassified as of yesterday, September 24th, 19, 2019, declassified by the president. A conversation between President Zelensky, Zelensky of Ukraine, and Donald J. Trump. The conversation happened on July 25th, 2019. It was a 30-minute conversation, uh, apparently at his residence. I'm not sure where they were, but it doesn't matter, right? They were One's in Ukraine, the other one's in the White House. Uh, and it was a 30-minute between 9, 9.03 and 9.33 a.m., all right, so again, this is the basis. This is what Pelosi and Sh- and Schumer and and fucking that other jerk off that we just saw. They're all going to be spinning this to impeach Trump based on this piece of paper, based on this conversation that Donald Trump just released. So it starts off where Trump is just being Trump with someone on the phone. Congratulations on a great victory. We all watched from the United States, and you did a terrific job. The way you came from behind, somebody who hasn't, wasn't given much of a chance, and you ended up winning easily. It's a fantastic achievement. Congratulations. So here's Trump stroking the guy, right? Now, the, the allegation is that the guy's only calling because $400 million weren't released to his country. But that's neither here nor there. We don't know the reason for that exactly. No one knows the reason why exactly. So you can't you can't make that assessment, that assumption that that's what's going on, right? But nonetheless, uh, the president speaks first, and then Zelensky, you are absolutely right, Mr. President, <laughs> kisses his ass. Uh, we we did win big, and we worked hard for this. We worked a lot, but I would like to confess to you that I had an opportunity to learn from you. Right? So he goes on and on, right? So back to the four hundred million, right? Why is it why is it uh, acceptable to just hand over four hundred billion dollars without four hundred million dollars without any questions asked. 
See, that's the question for the Democrats. Oh, because because it's their money and blah, blah. no, it, the president. If the president wants to intervene and and check out what exactly is this four hundred million dollars going to, but let me at least have a conversation with the guy beforehand. That's acceptable. That's acceptable behavior, right? and you're going to see where what the so no, nothing here on this page. It's all they laugh. That's a good idea. The president think your country is very happy with that. Well, yes, to tell you the truth, we are trying to work hard because we want to drain the swamp here in our country too. <laughs> we brought in many new people, uh, so they're having this this robust conversation. Um, two grown men kissing each other's asses <laughs> until we get to page three, and now here's where here's the allegation. Right. Ready for it? Page three of the unclassified conversation. The president, Trump. I would like you to do us a favor, though, because our country has been through a lot with a lot, and Ukraine knows a lot about it. I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation with Ukraine. They say CrowdStrike. I guess you have one of your wealthy people, the server. <laughs> they say Ukraine has it. <laughs> right? So he drops, he drops CrowdStrike and the server in one sentence. Let's continue. I think you're surrounding yourself. Oh, uh, they say Ukraine has it. There are a lot of things that went on. The whole situation. I think you're surrounding yourself with some, some of those same people. I would like to have the Attorney General call you or your people, and I would like to uh, get to the bottom of it. As you saw yesterday, the whole nonsense ended with a very poor performance by a man named Robert Mueller. An incompetent performance. <laughs> incompetent. He calls Mueller incompetent to the other president. But they say a lot of it started with Ukraine. Whatever you can do, it's very important that you do it if that's possible. All right? So stop right there. Is there any quid pro quo happening here? No. Is there any? He is, Trump is asking for a favor. But it doesn't violate any laws. It's not a, a violation to have a foreign uh, ally, right? An ally. We give him money, right? It's an ally. Uh, he's asking our ally to look into a situation because the rumor here is that something, something about Ukraine and CrowdStrike and the server, right? Right? Remember that from 2016? Ukraine CrowdStrike was the organization that the DNC hired to, after they claimed that Russia hacked the election, hacked their DNC servers, right? Instead of it being, we know that it was, that was not the case at all, that, you know, Russian agents hacked into the DNC. Remember all that bullshit, right? So that was CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike came in and took the server away from the DNC in front of the FBI. FBI never got their hands on it. So, a third party hired by the Clintons, CrowdStrike, right? It's a private organization. It was hired by the Clintons to come in and take a look at the servers. So Trump is asking about information, asking about situations that happened in 2016. He's asking the newly elected president of Ukraine to kindly look into and help clarify what the hell happened. Right, the server. You guys got the server. We'd love to see the server because the fuckers over here, you know, wiped the server. Clinton, Hillary Clinton, and the rest of them. Podesta, they wiped the server. Right? Remember, they committed crimes. They destroyed evidence. Right? So Trump is getting to the bottom of it. Trump is asking about CrowdStrike and the whole situation. As the president of the United States, he's investigating crimes. He's saying that. We could, I'd like to have you talk to our Attorney General, uh, Barr, right? What's his name, Barr? I talk to Barr, talk to Mr. Barr, Attorney General Barr, and let's figure out what the hell happened. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's investigating, yeah, it is to Trump's favor because that's all the Democrats talk about, right? They all they talk about, they talked about Russia for two years, and here's Trump trying to get to the bottom of it. Well, what actually happened? Can we see the server? What about CrowdStrike? He's asking, Trump's asking the right questions, right, so far, right? So now, so, so Zelensky says, 
It's very important to me, and everything that you, that you just mentioned earlier, for me as a president, it's very important that we are open for any future cooperation, right? So, so Zelensky kisses Trump's butthole and says, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I, again, maybe it's the $400 million hanging over his head, who knows, but nonetheless. Ah, uh, good, good, because I heard you had a prosecutor, Trump, had a prosecutor who was very good, and he, he was shut down, and that's really unfair. Right? So he's, he's, again, Trump is saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. They're kissing each other's buttholes, right? So here's, here's where it gets, here's now what the allegation of investigating Trump's running, the, the person he's running against, the Democratic frontrunner, Joe Biden and his son. Listen, let me just get, take it from the top. So uh, here's Trump. Hear the whole sentence. Good, because I heard you had a prosecutor who was very good, and he was shut down, and that's really unfair. A lot of people are talking about that. Uh, the way they shut your good prosecutor down, and you had some very bad people involved. Rudy Giuliani is a highly res respected man. So Trump mentions he's going to send Giuliani over there to talk. He was the, the mayor of New York City, a great mayor, and I would like him to call you. I would... I will ask him to call you along with Attorney General, with the Attorney General. Right? So he's, Trump is saying, I'll, I'll give you, again, nothing, there's nothing illegal about having your, your people call the guy and ask him a couple of questions. Right? Rudy very much knows what's happening, and he is a very capable guy. If you could speak to him, that would be great. The former ambassador from the United States, the woman... <laughs> It was bad news. <laughs> and the people she was dealing with in the Ukraine were bad news. So I just want to let you know that. Damn, he just fucking chopped that lady up. The other thing, and here it is. Here's the line. Here's the line that they, they're going to sing about, the Democrats. The other thing. There's a lot of talk about Biden's son. That Biden stopped the prosecution. And a lot of people want to find out what that was. What, what that, what about that? So, whatever you can do with the attorney general would be great. Let me read the line again because I buffed it, I muffed it up. The other thing, there's a lot of talk about Biden's son, that Biden stopped the prosecution, and a lot of people want to find out about that. So, whatever you can do with the attorney general would be great. Biden went around bragging that he stopped the prosecution. So if you can look into it, it sounds horrible to me. So that is the President of the United States asking a foreign, a foreign guy, a foreign leader, to look into a private citizen, Joe Biden, who happens to be running for the presidency of the United States. Right? But he's also saying that it's already public record because Biden went around bragging that he stopped the prosecution. Right? He's asking about his son, too, who's a private citizen, so that has nothing to do with anything. Again, remember, remember who we're talking about. We are ta we're not talking about candidate Donald Trump, the, the rich guy from New York. We are talking about the President of the United States inquiring about crimes committed, very much, you know, potential crimes that were committed while Biden was an official under Obama, right? Joe Biden was the vice president under O'Biden, under Obama. <laughs> I said O'Biden. They should call him that, O'Biden. Ah, Joe O'Biden. <laughs> That's his name. So here's Trump poking around, right? Now, you could stretch that to say that Trump is, is wrongfully investigating. Now, you'd have, again, you have, to, you have to prove intent. Is it just the president poking around, trying to figure out what the hell went, went on in 2016? Uh, was, there a, was there some sort of prosecution that Biden stepped off of uh, for, for the benefit of his son? Well, those are crimes. And for the Attorney General of the United States to look into those crimes is not really a bad thing. It's not saying, it, he's not saying, here's the deal. Trump is not saying, uh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Volensky, President Volensky, go on a fishing expedition, and when you find something, give it to me. That's not what he's saying at all. That's not the issue at all. 
what Trump is saying is this very specific issue of Biden and his son, Biden stepping off of a possible prosecution in Ukraine. Now, I don't have the background on what the hell they're talking about, and it doesn't really matter to me because they're going to mix it up anyway. But the point is that is there is there the first part of what we read about look into stuff from 2016 is irrelevant, right? I think we, we would agree on that, that that's irrelevant because there is no, that's not, that doesn't pertain to future election. Now, you could make an argument that because sleepy Joe Biden who can't put 12 people in a room, is running for president, you know, uh, with no chance of winning, now suddenly it's quid pro quo, rather than the president of the United States investigating political corruption. Right? So it's a stretch. Right? And there's no, there's no evidence that the $400 million was the quid pro quo, was the price tag for that information that would be a stretch that is not whatever for whatever it is it's not contained in this document uh, that there's no evidence in this document that trump said well if you help us if you help me then we'll help you with the 400 million All right now you could make other thing there are there are very vague um you know trump statements uh, towards the end, uh, a prediction that his that his uh, that Ukraine's economy is going to be really, really you know do really, really well. But again, all um, all very generalizations. Whew. So, Marcus Conti reporting, taking a deep dive into that uh, new uh, newly classified, declassified document uh, that the Democrats are now going to spin into the new Russia Gate. Now it's Ukraine gate. See, we got them. We got them. And they're going to shift all their energy to try to impeach Trump based on this piece of paper. And what they'll come up is short because you have to prove intent. Did the president intentionally, uh, you know, break the law? Or was he, he just poking around trying to figure out what happened in 2016, firstly? And does it pertain to 2000? Now, to 2019 and 2020 going forward. Now, again, I'm no advocate of Trump, but I can tell you that it's very vague, in my view, it's a very vague, grasping allegation that the Democrats are going to grab onto and try to hold onto with all their, all their might and all their breath. So, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. But I can tell you right now, the Democrats, this is, this is the foundation of what Hillary Clinton was talking about in my report this morning, that, he'll, that, that Trump must be impeached. And for lack of a better term, Hillary Clinton is an excellent scriptwriter. She has the eyes, she has the eyes and ears of the Democratic stooges. So Hillary Clinton is spinning it. Pelosi is spinning it. Uh, Adam Schiff is spinning it. The Dirty Dems are now spinning it. Now they got the document. Right? It's only two hours old. They're going to keep spinning, spinning. See, we got him, we got him. The, the young Turk, fucking Cenk Yuga, spinning it. Oh, we got him, we got him. Young Turk's on the line, spinning. Everybody's spinning, spinning, spinning. We got him, based on what I just told you. Do they really got him? I don't think so, man. I think it's very, 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 very uh, slim to none. Marcus Conte reporting. <laughs>